Hey guys, that phone guy here, and today I'm going to show you my Target bin finds. I also went to the recycling center, and I got this cracked Android 2 um, lock with the passcode Huawei thing, and um, also a Palm phone, and I think another phone, but I smashed it. It was like a really primitive smartphone slide phone thing, and I didn't even have the charger for it, but I'm just too lazy to get them out of my phone bin. They're really, you know, crappy. They're somewhere in here, though. I think. Yes, this is all phones. Oh my god, did I really crack that? Yeah, that worked. Um, anyways. So yeah, I got these, uh, three, actually five phones, but these are the three most important ones. Um, the first one up is a ZTE. I totally forget the name of this right now. I cannot remember. But the problem with this one is it's a pretty common problem. White screen. Basically, uh, a way to fix this. One of them is to, uh, um, get it into recovery mode, which is kind of hard when the phone has a white screen because you have to like touch the screen The touch screen actually works like when I touch it the bottom lights light up like but yeah The screen is just toast on this thing. I tried disconnecting and reconnecting it uh, And also yeah, oh before I get any further um at the target um, that we went to it was a normal one and the bins uh, was locked and it was really weird. Uh, yeah, you can see it's coming to life right now. Uh, I think it runs Android 7. I'm not exactly sure. I don't remember. Maybe Android 6. Um, and yeah, anyways, so we were at Target, and, um, my brother, like, it was locked. I, like, tried pulling it up and made the clicking sound, and, up oh, that died. Uh, and basically my brother, um, so basically, like, let me just show you my bin. Like, so this is the right side of the bin. The keyhole is right here. Not in the middle, like most of them, but it's right here. My brother just put force to the lid, like he th put his fingers under there. Put force to the li lid, uh, right next to the, like, keyhole. And it just popped right up, like he pulled up on it, and it popped, the lid popped out. And I don't know how he did that, but I just, I managed to pull this thing out because it's, like, in a corner. And I, I noticed it actually when he took it out there. I think there were some other phones in there, but I wanted to make it quick since I didn't want to get caught and get it locked again. Um, and the next find right here is a Moto E2. I have a couple of these now. Three. Um, I don't know why, but they're, they're like, uh, so popular for me to get. Anyways, this thing, of course, is Google locked. And, uh, yeah, it's a really easy bypass. I just use this app to, um, bypass it. It literally, like, basically instantly, uh, bypasses it. So I'll do that later. Um, but yeah. Um, and this, this is a iPhone 2G. I thought it was, go I mean, it's 2G. So I was going to, it was a th uh, 3GS, but that, it's not. So it's an 8GB right here. There. It's all pretty cool, but it has this weird starting up issue, which my iPhone uh, 2G actually had, but I managed to fix it. And I think it's, no, it probably shouldn't. No, flat. But yeah, my iPhone 2G had the same exact pro uh, problem, but I just can't get it to work on the 3G. Also, it's just a 3G, so I don't really care. It's old technology. Anyways, that's all for this video. See you guys in the next video, and bye.